and just know that you're not alone. If you're laying awake at night and you've been awake for a week because you can't sleep, because your body just wants to be awake, you're not alone. If you're purging and purifying and releasing old traumas, you're not alone. If you're feeling angry and frustrated and just irritated as fuck, you're not alone. If you're feeling confused and you feel like you know you you knew what you were doing with your life and then all of a sudden you're blank and you don't know what you're doing, you're not alone. <laughs> if you're going through a breakup, if you're going through some change in relationship circumstances, you're not alone. We're all going through something right now. We are all being prepared to jump into our highest timeline. And to jump into our highest timeline, we have to go through the density sometimes. We need to recalibrate sometimes. Sometimes things need to change up, shift up for us. So just know that when all these things are happening, this is happening for us. It's happening for you, my friend. The universe is always working for you. It's never working against you. It's just the egoic mind that gets in the way. And, you know, humans have a, have a habit of playing victim. But when you realize that every single thing is happening for you and every single thing that happens in divine timing, the universe has got your back. When you realize this, your life becomes so much easier. Just trust you're not alone. Everyone is going through something. Everyone is going through something. Every Everyone has their own individual process. Right? Everyone has their own individual process. But just keep reminding yourself, keep reminding yourself that the heavier and the denser it is, the more the more is coming out so that you can be lighter, so that you can embody more of your higher self, your God self, so you can live your greatest life, so you can be the greatest version of you, so you can hit your highest potential. This is why all the darkness has to come up, all the shadow needs to be faced. This is why people are put on your path so that you can be triggered, so you can look within and, and heal this is why we get triggered. We get triggered because there's parts in us that are still hurting. There's parts of us that still haven't been healed. So use these opportunities when you're triggered. Use these opportunities and just thank these people that are triggering you. Thank these people that are pissing you off because they're actually helping you grow. They're helping you heal. And then you get to a point where you're like, oh, thanks for that, bro. Thanks for that, sis. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for that because you're helping me ascend here. You're helping me grow. You're helping me expand. You're helping me expand. Be kind to you at this time. What are you doing to look after yourself? Are you doing giving yourself extra love, extra care? Are you running yourself baths? Are you relaxing on the beach? Are you just like sitting in earth with the trees, letting the beautiful Mother Gaia earth energies just hold you and nurture you? Are you giving yourself self-massage self or are you getting massages? Are you eating well? Are you drinking good clean water without, you know, fluoride in it? Are you, like, eating and putting good foods in your body? It's about supporting yourself right now. Support yourself. Give yourself extra support and extra love. And, you know, some of us feel alone at this time. And it feels like a lonely journey. And you know what? If you can reach out to people, even if it is online, that's a beautiful thing. And you have, when you start to look around, you start to see that you're not alone. There's many people around the world on this accelerated ascension timeline. And you're one of them. And this is why you're here. So you should be so super proud of yourself. Take a moment to honor yourself and look how far you've come on your journey. And no, you're not going backwards. Sometimes it may feel like, you know, you take two steps forward and three steps back. But no, you're not going backwards. You're actually going forward. You're always going forward. You can never go back. You can never go back. Never look back. If you're going to look back, have a look how far you've come. Look how far you've come and be excited because the best is yet to come. So be super excited. So whatever, up you're, whatever you're up against right now, just know. Okay, this is preparing you for the greater days, for everything that you've been manifesting, everything that you've been calling into your life. This is the preparation for it. Remember, you've got to clear out. We're clearing out all the density, all the darkness, all the heaviness, so you can embody more light, so you can float along life and live your best existence on your highest timeline, filled with abundance and love and peace and joy. You know, this is where you're going to meet beautiful new people and have 
good, beautiful, strong connections with people that you resonate with. So if you're going through situations now where you're, you know, you're going through breakups with a partner perhaps, or, you know, you, you, you know, you're shifting away from a family member or family members or, or friends or whatever, it's okay because the universe has other people in your life now that's going to match your frequency, you see? So just surrender. That's the key to surrender and let go and just trust the process because everything is happening for you. So if you're still playing victim, just reassess that you don't need to play victim. You're a magical cosmic citizen. You're here ascending. You have this beautiful human experience. Every experience that you have, even if it feels so heavy and dense, know that it's happening for you. And when you know this, you remain in a state of flow, flow state, and you start to trust. You trust God, you trust the universe more. So whatever happens, you know you surrendered. You completely surrender and you're like, thank you God for that. Because I know it is for my highest good. So be well. Don't be so hard on yourself. And just know whatever you're up against right now is going to pass. And better days are coming. I promise you that, my friend. I love you. I love you so much.